Hey, this is Kim Bellissimo at Pajamas and Pancakes. And what's in your back back today? We carry everything with us in our back space. We're loaded down. And so in order to create, we got to drop that back space. So today we are going to start Look at this beautiful tea that um, I've created. It was a mixture blend. It's fresh mint, fresh ginger. I added some jasmine, some tropical blend. So we are going to start to seep this. You know, teas are great to clear all kinds of illnesses. If you have anything that you are struggling with, let me know and we can brew a tea for you. Um, also, somebody had commented about they love fried rice. So we are doing a Hawaiian breakfast fried rice this morning. So, hey, welcome, thanks for coming. And I got this backpack on because in reality, most of us, we carry a lot of stuff in our backspace. And our backspace is that place where we're carrying our past, we're carrying our genetic line. We're just, you know, we, we carry everything with us. And so whatever we carry, we create with. And I got the 80s music rolling for my class reunion in the 80s this weekend, a shout out to that. And um, all those, you know, past memories we carry with us from high school. So here we go, here's the tea, I'm gonna let it steep. And um, cheers, good morning everyone. This is today, it, the tool is what's in your backspace. So we're, we, you know, we have this image of what we got going, but this is what we carry. And whatever we carry, we create with. So we're trying to unload our stuff. And today we are cooking a Hawaiian fried rice. Somebody said that they love fried rice. So uh, I love Hawaii. And I have clients in Hawaii and love it. And so what we're gonna start with, my one son does not like fried rice. So we are going to start with um, making some sausages for him. And let me just turn this up a little bit. Good morning, thanks for joining. And what is in your backspace? And what is a backspace? It's kind of like, you know, we, we carry, here's the thing, things that happen in your life things that get created, a lot of times it's our ancestor stuff. It's, you know, it's like we feel maybe bad about ourselves or maybe we feel isolated or alone or like in high school, if you ever felt excluded or in ninth grade, I know I didn't have any friends. And so it's kind of like these things you get carried forward in your life and they play out all kinds of different times. And so we're looking to drop our backpack, drop our back space, so we are not continually creating with it. So this morning, I just wanna show you the ingredients of what we're doing while um, that sausage is cooking. We have, um, for the breakfast Hawaiian fried rice, let me just turn this over here a little more. We have rice, this is the rice, remember, I cooked um, yesterday. And so we have that left over. We've got some um, just ham, and we have some onions, garlic, and uh, some sesame seed oil. And uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to start to uh, cook over here. We're gonna add the oil, and uh, we're going to add the onions, and let those saute for a second. And with the sausage, what we're going to do is we are going to um, stir this. We are going to actually roll the sausage in a tortilla and cheese. So it's like a, there you go. I'm gonna turn these. What I do with my sausage, kind of just turn them every three minutes and then I'll cover them. And um, once they're covered, I'll put a little bit of water in there. And there we go. Get, get this rolling over here. We got my mate, my mate with a straw, my Argentinian and Chilean uh, friends, clients, a shout out to them. And here we go. 
Now, what we're gonna do for the fried rice too, is we're going to start to scramble these eggs. I wash my eggs with a little apple cider vinegar. And um, we're going to break these eggs. So we got, I'm gonna just do, I had five eggs, but I think I'm just gonna do four eggs. And I always break my eggs on the counter instead of on the bowl that way. If a shell, you know, sometimes when you break it on the bowl, a shell gets in there. We'll just do four eggs there. So I'm gonna to start to whisk that. Good morning, and this morning we are making Hawaiian fried rice. And what's in your backspace? You're probably saying, why am I carrying this backspace? And what's in my load? Kind of like, what have I brought forward with me in this time? You know, it's amazing because I didn't even really know my grandfather, and um, he was a gambler. He had a card house, and my dad was in foster care. And so here later in life, you know, gamblers start coming to me, and I didn't even really know this about my grandfather, because I, you know, didn't sort of see him. And, and so they start asking, you know, if I would help with the poker tournament. So I would fly down and, you know, hold the space, help with, uh, oh, look at this. Some of these are burning, I'm gonna turn this lower. Just get that rice going. You know, this is why sometimes I don't like these non stick pans. Throw this burnt out. Here we go. That is, I think it'll be okay. Now I'm gonna add the ham in here. We're just gonna saute this a little bit. And then we're gonna add some garlic. And um, with the sauce on the fried rice, I'm going to put this aside here too after we just kind of stir fry it. I would usually do bell peppers, but my uh, one friend does not want bell peppers. And uh, we're just going to stir fry it. Then we're going to let it sit. There we go. i got to keep stir frying it. I know this heat over on this pan, it gets so hot. Then they keep turning these, and then we're going to add a little water, and then cover it. You know, stuff, it's easy to kind of burn sausages sometimes. And, and I'm going to turn it down lower once they're a little, there we go. Once I brown each side. Okay, maybe just a few more. Now this. Okay, that's looking good. And I'm going to add pineapple, too, to this. And my dad, now I'm going to put this aside. And let me get another bowl. Here we go. I'm going to take this off the heat for a minute. Turn that down. Let me get a bigger bowl. I got a bigger bowl here. And um, I'm running out of a bowl. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water to um, the sausage here. Woo! Steam shower. Turn on the pan. And then I'm going to add, there, let that steam turn this down. Add it to a medium heat. I'm going to take this, put this aside. is uh, ham and that is a little uh, ham and onions and some uh, garlic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the rice mixture. Now this is cooked rice that we made yesterday and I'm going to just turn that down. I'm going to just come back to this in a moment. I got the eggs rolling here. So with this sauce, this is, you can use amino sauce and Bragg's amino, or you can use a light soy sauce. I tend to kind of stay away from soy sauce just because of the gluten in it, but my kids are not gluten free. You know, uh, this is a little bit of brown sugar that we're going to add for this sauce. Let me get a spoon. And um, my one son, who 
has a, and I add some fresh ginger too. There we go, some fresh ginger, some brown sugar. We mix this together. This is gonna go into the sauce. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame seed oil also. And um, there we go. We've got here the sausages cooking. Let me just make sure this is on the right heat. And oh yeah, these, these are gonna be good. This way sometimes, you know, it's easy to burn sausages. I just add water, cover it, and then uh, it'll, it'll come out perfect. And then we can wrap it in a tortilla. And let me move these out of the way. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to bring over this. I'm going to move burners here. And this is gonna take no time at all. Let me get my other pan. Uh, and let me just turn on the heat. All right, so here we go. Just and let me put a little bit of oil in here, a little olive oil. There we go. All right, so what's in your backspace? What are you carrying around? Isn't it amazing? You know, we're so attached to, you know, just our past and the problems and what's happening. And then when we're older, we can't even hold our shoulders back because we just love carrying the stuff with us. We love creating with that stuff, even though we wouldn't think we would, but it's so hard to come into a moment, every moment and just be open without an opinion about anything and just see it for what it is and say hello to it. But you know, a lot of times we keep creating the same thing, even if it's with different people, because we haven't cleared it. And so, you know, what's in your backspace? What is in your backspace that you want to just get rid of that you want to unload today? And um, when I was saying that I worked with gamblers, because my grandfather, he was a gambler, he had an addiction problem. And, you know, so I started going to these poker tournaments and like really helping people in this kind of game thing. And my grandfather, I did not know was a poker player. So it's kind of like a lot of addiction energy, a lot of things that, you know, is why my dad was in foster care. So all of this stuff kind of gets carried with you. And so it's like, if you have a meeting today, let's say if you have a meeting, I'm gonna turn this on here, this rice in the back. And, in the, and if you have the backspace picture that you know somehow uh, you're not seen or you're not heard, somehow people are gonna make comments and you won't be seen and heard. So you're kind of carrying you know, in your backpack of crap all of that stuff with you. Now I'm gonna add over here this fried rice and um, what we are going to do is we are going to make this egg mixture here let me just put this down a little bit maybe i'll add a little bit of a um, little bit of sesame seed oil there we go now um, i'm going to add to the sauce over here on this fried rice so we have the soy sauce, you know, I may need a little more. And that sugar and the ginger. And let's see, that may be perfect though. I don't like, uh, sometimes the soy sauce can be a little strong or aminos if you don't use soy sauce. I don't know, soy sauce seems to create inflammation and I uh, tend to do low inflammation kind of foods. And uh, so I kind of stay away from gluten. And um, I have to say my son said about that Egg McMuffin yesterday, he really liked it. But um, look at that fried rice. This is easy fried rice because I make a great Spanish fried rice, but you have to kind of fry the rice, you know, first and you're not cooked. This is great if you steam rice and you want to do something in the morning for breakfast, you could use your steamed rice you can, because we're going to add eggs to this. And this is perfect. Now I'm going to turn this down and just let this kind of cook here. Now I'm going to add to the bacon and um, look at that, the bacon and onions and some garlic in there. And that looks pretty good. 
I don't know if you can see that. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the pineapple on last. Okay, so take this. Let me just add a little bit more of this. There, that looks really good. Now, um, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna do the egg separately, but here's the pineapple. And, you know, um, talking about my dad, he's a hoarder. He's Mr. Gidget Gadget. So I am uh, using this Gidget um, and seeing if this gadget really works. It is a pineapple, I don't know. It's a pineapple, I've never used it. So if it doesn't work, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna can it. Now this pineapple doesn't look all that great, but um, we'll see, it was the best looking pineapple that there was. And we're just gonna, this is an experiment. So you're supposed to stick this thing in and you're supposed to turn it clockwise, okay? And my son loves pineapple and he has been cutting pineapple, but is really hard. So I thought, well, my dad has a gidget and a gadget for everything. I would love to do a show over there and just pick something up and just say, what do you use this gadget for? So if you just joined, my backpack is on because it is representing what is in your backspace. What are you carrying around? What do you create with? And oh wait, look at this. Okay, wow, look at that. Now, uh, I think you press this. Okay, wait a minute, maybe you don't. Oh, here we go. Huh. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> here we go. And look at, this is like the, uh, look at this. This is a perfect, uh, woo, a perfect thing. This would be a great little, uh, I don't know, like a, a great little, let me wipe this board off here. Was that awesome? So, you know what? I have to hand it to my dad and it's Gidget Gadgets. Let me make sure this is stirring. Oh yeah, this looks so good. So we're making Hawaiian fried rice. Somebody said their favorite um, meal was fried rice. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make fried rice. And we're gonna make Hawaiian fried rice. And we're gonna check here um, to see how the sausages are doing. So I kind of let, I'm gonna turn off that back burner. Um, I let the sausages maybe 15 minutes, you know, just kind of those look perfect. Look at that. And um, keep this low. Now um, I'm gonna cut the pineapple because we're gonna add the pineapple to that. Okay, so oh, I guess what I do now is I, I press this button, I pull this off, and voila, oh my gosh. Look at this, pineapple rings. This is so perfect because you know how, and then I can pull out the part that's not good. We're gonna just um, cut these into chunks that is the best Gidget gadget I'll have to tell my dad. You know, but you know, here's the problem. I tell him how amazing a Gidget gadget is and then he's out to find another Gidget gadget. And um, so this is great because, you know, you can put these in nice little chunks for our Hawaiian fried rice. And um, I just got my knife sharpened too because as you remember, I don't know if you saw, like even cutting an avocado. Um, so what's in your backspace? What, what do you continue to keep creating? Maybe too, it's that self-talk that you keep bringing with you in, in everything that no one supports you. No one is, um, you know, there for you. So w what is it? It's kind of like, or maybe everyone, you know, doesn't appreciate you. What kind of things do you continue to create with. So we just wanna be aware of that so we can drop it, so we can let go of that backspace. And, um, you know, and put it this way, if there was a block with your ancestors or anyone in your genetic line, you get it. 
it gets carried on down. It gets passed on down, put in the backpack. So it's like stuff. You know, it's important to get rid of stuff because why are we carrying around all this stuff? And, you know, it continues to come up because in a way your ancestors want to be set free. They want to be set free from it. And so they're hoping, they're cheering you on saying, you know, let it go, drop stuff. Because our ancestors, believe it or not, they anchor into, you know, us. And, and then they live in us. And then all of a sudden our addiction becomes their, you know, their addiction becomes our addiction. And we start doing stuff automatically and we don't even know why we're doing it. It's kind of like, that's why awareness, being aware of what's going on, what we're doing is so important. Okay, so here we got the pineapple. Oh my gosh, look at that. Pineapple fried rice. I'm gonna add a little more pineapple with ham. And um, does that look good? I'm gonna add all of this. Then we are going to um, do our kind of um, sausage and we're going to do our eggs. We're gonna add egg to this too. Look at my little mess right here, but I'm not a professional chef, I'm a mom. You know, kind of just creating, you know, putting love around my food. I have to say that um, on Fairy Wing Friday, setting my food, my son, said, Mom, you know, I really feel your love in food. And, you know, that's something that we can do. We can set, set, set our kids' space. Because when they're older, you can't tell them anything. You kind of want to stay out of the space. And that's, that's looking good. I want to see if, um, I think this is almost done. Yeah, that, look, that looks great. Maybe just a few more minutes now. I'm just gonna turn this on low and move this to the back burner while we cook our eggs right here. So we've scrambled our eggs. Back here, turn this on medium low. I'm gonna wipe this pan out. So today we are making a Hawaiian, Hawaiian fried rice for um, somebody who suggested it. And I'm gonna put some butter in here for scrambled eggs. And I'm just gonna add eggs on top and pull out a little bit on the side because not everyone in my family wants um, wants the egg on, you know, um, and we're gonna add this. Wants egg on, this, on the uh, fried rice. So there we go, done with that. I love this new contraption. Oh my gosh. The pineapple, the pineapple cutter. And look at it, cut it in beautiful spirals. Look at this thing. Woo! Is that amazing? So, um, talking about backspace and what's in your backspace, and you know, a lot of times, places we go, things that we love to do, you know, it's because somehow there is a connection or you know, I always have gone and people have always kind of taken me to Hawaii, like Maui in that Wailea. And, and I've gone there for years and years in the same kind of area, the McKenna area down there where the turtles are. I love swimming with the turtles. And so I've been there for, for so many years and I've always thought, isn't that interesting? Like I always get offers to go there or I don't know, it's just always kind of worked out that I've gone there. And so my family and I, we went um, there, maybe it was, it was last year on vacation. And um, so we, we were staying at the hotel at the Wailea, at the Grand Wailea. Let me just turn this, this low, this is looking good. And, um, and so um, my one son and I were swimming, you know, we're having a great time. We see all these turtles. And, and then um, my, that night, my other son, uh, he tends to uh, sleep talk, and um, you know he's very sensitive. And so he sat up in bed, did kind of like an exorcism, turning the head, and he said, and it wasn't him, but it was a different voice, he said, Kim, it's nice to see you again. And my husband was asleep, and I'm like, oh my God, get out. Like, I was talking to, you know, the spirit, 
you know, get out of him. And then the next day, my, my husband was taking a nap, and, um, and then he woke up and he thought, why is there the bellman in the room who was kind of looking over him? And it's not like, you know, uh, my husband is into any, uh, any of this kind of stuff. And, and he's like kind of waking up and then he saw this image in the mirror. And, um, and then, you know, so he just thought, well, maybe that was. And then we were swimming, my, um, my son, my husband, and I, and my son that's dark skin like me. And then my husband, you know, almost drowned, drowns. And then I'm like, okay, and I could see, it was very interesting when my son sat up and said, you know, Kim, it's been a long time. I'm like, oh my God, I know you. You know, it's kind of like there's something in my genetic line or like my dead old husband. <laughs> anyway, I called the, the front desk and I said, you know, um, this room is haunted. And they, they said, yeah, the Hawaiians, the locals won't even go on that side of the hotel because it was buried on a gravesite. And so we moved rooms and, and I, you know, hooked um, my, you know, dead husband or this energy that was very friendly to me and my dark son, but my two, my husband who's very fair skinned and my other son who's white, not so much to them. <laughs> so it's kind of like, what are you carrying in your backspace? So it's time to unload, you know, and a lot of times spirits get fragmented, you know, they can't fully move on. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the sausage off. Okay, the sausage is definitely done. And I'm gonna put the egg on a plate because we are going to add this to the side. And now one last thing, here, how are we doing? We're doing good on time. And I am going to um, add a little bit of salt and pepper to that. I'm gonna wipe this out and do a tortilla. Here, let me just wash this pan out. There we go, wipe it out. I'm gonna add a tortilla with cheese and I'm going to put the sausage in the tortilla and wrap it up. So um, we're just gonna turn this on again and add some butter and we're gonna put a tortilla in there. We're gonna do two tortillas. And we're, hey, we're right on time. We got just a few minutes left. And, um, and then my kids, they gotta be out of here by quarter two. So, you know, they're pretty close to school. Now I'm gonna take the sausage, I am going to cut it dry. And so be aware today of what are you carrying around? And let's together, decide that, oh, look at those sausages, are perfect. They're nice and tender, they're not burnt, they're kind of golden, they're inside, they're completely cooked. Look at that. Now I'm gonna add some cheese here and turn this down a little bit. You know, these pans, these non pans are great for eggs, but you just gotta watch things burning. And we're gonna pat these dry. Let's see if you can see here. All right. So look at this load. I'm kind of tired. Like, you know, it's so restricting carrying all of this stuff. Now, what we're gonna do, turn that down a bit, let that melt. And um, we are actually going to get a sausage and roll it up. Put maybe kind of two sausages. No, my son will just want one. Just one sausage. And we're, we're gonna just kind of roll this thing up. And you know, I'd like to roll it up kind of afterward. There we go. So it's like a sausage um, tortilla, quesadilla, rolled up. This is kind of something you could do in the microwave too. That would be good. I'm just gonna let that sit there and melt. Doesn't that look good? Okay, so um, now we're going to add, I'm gonna take a bowl and um, add some of 
of the egg on the Hawaiian fried rice. And we're gonna put some of the egg right on top. This is for my one son and my husband that like the egg. And my other son did not like the egg. So there we go. And I already added the salt and pepper to it. I'm just gonna kind of mix it in. Add a little more. So uh, be thinking about today, look at this. Oh my God, goodness, it smells so good. Hawaiian fried rice. This is a breakfast Hawaiian fried rice with pineapple, ham, with um, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of minos, brags, or you can use soy sauce in this. That looks amazing. Now we have right here, these are, and I think these two are good in the microwave because you can roll them up a little tighter and it would be quick, like if you ever had sausage. So these are, uh, let me just open it up and show you. They're a sausage in the center. Can't really see. Sausage in the center, uh, like tortilla. Look at that. So that's good. Roll that up and I'll cut the sides off. I'll make it shorter and, um, and we're done. And so now uh, I have just a sip of tea. And so thank you for joining me this morning for pajamas and pancakes. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna unload our backspace. We are taking off our backspace. We are gonna drop all the crap and we are just gonna run it, let it go. So see what you can let go. Look at how heavy this is of carrying all of our stuff. So remember, when something in your life keeps coming up again and again and again, you're holding on to it. Sometimes it creates this isolation and for some reason we just can't get rid of it. And so to get rid of it, drop it, let it go, ground the balls. Thanks for joining and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.